Hey guys, it's Andrew with the Avalon Legacy, and it is the day after Paldea Evolved release day. Um, I filmed an ETB opening yesterday, and um, it was amazing. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be posted after this video, so just wait for that. But today, I have a booster box, yes, from my boy, Pokemon TCG Cheese, uh, who runs Cheese of Treasures, as usual. I always get my box from him my obligatory one box that I get of every set. So here we go. I am just as excited about this as Scarlet and Violet. Um, it, I feel like I'm going to feel the same way every single set in this era, um, just because the, the buildup of just, you know, seeing all the cards revealed and being like, oh man, what am I going to pull in my box? I'm guaranteed at least one special illustration rare every box. So it's like, which one am I going to get? I want pretty much all of them uh yep so very exciting um here's the back if you're interested in that command of rousing performance yes indeed all right so it's kind of weird you can kind of see like the the code on the back coming through which is interesting two ooh, two 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 one eight five two two two, yeah, two, two, two would have been good for last year but this is 2023. And I think I'm even perforated. There we go. Okay. All right. There they are. Cool. So we'll just start with the right side. Yes, grout at the front here. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So what are my chase cards? Uh, besides all of them, <laughs> um, I really. Uh, the Masquerada alt art. Or you know, special illustration rare. Um, Chien Pao. Um, I really want the... Oh, boy. Uh, I want I saw so much I want on this. I want all four Treasures of Ruin in all four, all three of their versions. Foy Coco. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, funny story. I actually can't remember if it's this or the Tinka Tink, but I pulled two of these in my pre-release, so that's annoying. And jump love. So, okay, we're not a good start so far. <laughs> Considering there's only two or three of these in a box. Um, yeah, not not one I really wanted. I, I think I already pulled the Tinka Tink, so maybe this isn't so bad. Um, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I do really like the Tinka Tone special illustration. I wouldn't mind pulling that. I would just have to rearrange my binder. So, like... Every time a new set is revealed, as it's getting revealed, I kind of plan out my binder. Um, oops. And uh, the way I planned it out did not include any of the Tinkatone lines, so um, I'm kind of going to go by what I pull and see. Oops. Jinx and Glamora. Um, you know, I plan spots for most of the cards in this set, but I, the thing is I don't collect master sets, so I only collect really what I... Um, you know, what I actually like, um, which happened, you know, usually it's, I like a lot of the cards, so it's like, the chances of me pulling something I really want is high. I just didn't really want the Tingle Tough. Oh, there's an Iono. Ankle Stack, Corvus Squire, Bramble Gast. Oh my god. Still hard to pull these up. There we go. Lilio and Palm up. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? So, <laughs> over the course of the pre-release and my ETB, I pulled three Quackafall EX. So I'm really hoping I just don't pull another one of those. Um, I'm already sick of seeing them. He's already my least favorite of the three starters, so I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, but three is enough. I really don't need more than that. So Titan Faulkner, nice. I really hope they're just starting to go through all the, like, gym leaders they never made full arts of. Ironically, they did not make Lieutenant Surge, and they just went to Faulkner. They could have just made that a Lieutenant Surge. <laughs> uh, Deli Bird, a Reverse Faulkner, and a Hariyama. Oh, this feels thicker than normal. It's weird. Um, but yeah, Faulkner's pretty cool. Like, it's Gen 2, so I wouldn't mind pulling him. Um, I know people <laughs> don't like the boy trainers, but I am the opposite, and I usually like the boys more. Um, they're just not worth as much because people are weird. Anyway, Jet Energy, Fighting Ole, Mabostiv, 
Reverse Dendros. Meryl, I wouldn't mind Dendros Full Art. I do need her. Um, but SIR, I don't really need that much. Hey! <laughs> right, <laughs> let's talk about that. So this is awesome. Um, you get like two to three Full Arts per box usually, um, which is awesome. Uh, so I'm really not disappointed that this is one of them. I know he's going to be stupid cheap because he's a boy and he's not a playable card. Um, but I do love my Gen 2. So that's awesome. Glad they finally made a full art of him. I'm hoping they just keep going through all of them because Gen 2 only had half of the gym leaders made as trainers. So, um, as full arts, I mean. So, you know, it'd be cool to see the rest of them. Especially Claire. I really want a Claire uh, full art. Um, I love this slow part artwork. It's so cute. It's my so so. Yeah, that's nice. Um, so, yeah, I really wouldn't be disappointed with any of the SIRs, except maybe, um, I mean, I say disappointed very lightly, but I really don't care about the Giacomo that much. Um, Fletchinder and Chiyu, nice. Okay, this is one I don't have, so that's good. Man, the EXs are just crazy with the sparkles. And Chiyu is an awesome Pokemon. I love all four of the Treasures of Ruin. They're so sick. Um, I love how they're basically like the Tapus, but dark type instead, <laughs> which is really cool because I've said this before, I'll say it many more times, but Scarlet and Violet is basically like Sun and Moon 2.0 to me, um, character-wise and Pokemon-wise, and it's just so good. Uh, ooh, that's a nice Magnemite. Ryoma Ur Uratsuka, one of the newer artists. Nackley? I love Nackley. I hope I get that character rare. Or, uh, Art rare. Shinx. Quaxwell, get out of here. Saguaro, nice. I hope I pull the full art and or illustration rare of him. I really like him. He's one of my favorite uh, teachers in Scarlet and Violet. Jet Energy. Okay, I skipped one. Arctobax. The, the reverses are really thick in this box for some reason. Eh, it would be tough. Okay. And the packs are like... The packs are super thick, too. I mean, they've kind of been like that since Scarlet and Violet, so... I don't know what material they're using now. Pommy, Larvitar. This is a newer artist. Haru Akatsaka. Akasaka. Oh, my God. <laughs> they're so hard to grab. They just all stick together. Sandy Gast. Tarantula. Eldane Taurus. The water one. Uh, that's Aqua Breed, yeah. Luxio. Lobostiff. Rockruff. Charcadet. And Hydreigon, my boy. Right All right, two more pack. Um, yeah, but now I need pretty much. I need all four Treasures of Ruin special arts. I need um, Yaskarada. Um, oh, that Pikachu is really nice by Okacheka. Um, God, what else is there? Squawkabilly. The Squawkabilly is really nice. I would love to pull that. Slack off, watch roll, Zwilus, Spite Ops. I'm just gonna go like this, if, you know, even if we see what the card is. Pyroar, Jump Bluff, Tarantula, Gyarados. Okay. Um, what else to talk about here? <laughs> um, there's one special illustration rare that I pulled in my ETB uh, <laughs> that I was not expecting to pull. And I would not mind pulling a second one. Oh, I love this art. I don't remember if I talked about it before. Megumi Higuchi. That's such good art. And I love Mistrevis. Mistrevis was one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. Sneasel, Pupitar. There's actually a lot of Gen 2 in this set, which is awesome. Bombardier, Fletchling, Fuecoco, and Sableye. It's a nice Sableye. Okay. All right. Nothing too crazy yet. <laughs> um... But two cards I needed, so that's good. I, I, I really can't remember if I pulled the Tinka Tink or the Tinka Tough in the pre-release, but I pulled one of them. I should have checked before this. Um, I also sold this adorable. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I want Dove Berries, and they're like, we'll get it. <laughs> I love that. That art rare is one of my favorite. Ooh, Reverse Iono. Spide Ops and Cerule Edge, who didn't get a character rare for some stupid reason. Or art rare. I keep saying character. And they're not even called that. They're called illustration rares in English. It's such a mouthful. Special illustration rare, illustration rare. Like, why can't they just call it art rares still? Have to be different from Japanese for some reason. 
rare roll. I really hope I pulled a rare roll art rare too. I mean, yeah, art rare, illustration rare, whatever. Um, they, I, I love how they have the seals for the Treasures of Ruin in some of the artworks, but it seems like only the Primeape and Pineco. I don't know why they didn't do the other two. It's kind of interesting. Dendra, Colossand. Come on. Mistrevious Reverse, that's nice. Exactly. And Tarantar. All right. A little more than halfway done with the right side. Um, I'm trying to think what else I could talk about here. Um, but this set's really good, um, obviously. Uh, Scarlet and Violet, every set is going to be good, let's be real. Um, it's just this one focuses more on the actual Scarlet and Violet Pokemon. There's not many, like, special, like, chase cards for, you know, people who don't know the new Scarlet and Violet Pokemon. So, yeah, take a turn. So it's like, it feels kind of like a proper Scarlet and Violet set in that aspect. Because, you know, Scarlet and Violet, the base set. Actually, I mean, it didn't have that many. I mean, it had the Gardevoir as the, one of the chases, obviously, which is was not a Scarlet and Violet Pokemon. Um, but this one, like, they literally all are Scarlet and Violet Pokemon, so it's, like, it's very refreshing. Oh, I know what card that is, and I'm very happy about it. <laughs> Yay, the Meryl. Yes, I love this one. Is there anything behind it where I inspect? Oh, there is. Oh, the Slowking. <laughs> Nice. I really hope I pull the full art of the Slowking because I really, I really like that card. Um, but let's look at the Meryl first. Gorgeous art. That's uh, Atsuya Uki. That's another new artist. Um, I can see the print lines, which is annoying, but you know, straight on, you can't really see them, I guess. But yeah, I love all the little other Pokemon there. The Pink Urchin, the Bruxish, the Clauncher, the Love Disc that are like in a circle around Meryl, which is awesome. And then the Slowking... I, like, never get double banger packs. <laughs> um, so I, I was telling Cheese about this. I have, like, mixed feelings about the regular Terras. Like, they just seem so squished in this little box, especially with the Terra rule there. They really should have expanded it um, a little bit more, I think. But they wanted to keep it consistent with all the other EXs. as well. This is a really thick-feeling card. It's so weird. Um, but, yeah, this is nice, because I want one Terra for every type, because it seems like they're going to do at least one for every type, so that's um, that'll go for my Psychic Spot. So that's nice. I really like the uh, Dedenai too, but um, the fact he has the fairy crown is kind of annoying. I like this Slowking with the Psychic Terror crown instead. Um, I think after the first half, I'm just going to start going through the packs like sideways instead of up like this, because it's getting very annoying. Murkrow. Ice Q, and there's something back here. What is it? No, come on. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. I want to just throw this away right now. We got another Quackable. Every product I've opened from this so far, I've gotten one of these. My Both of my build and battle kits, my ETV, and my booster box now. Like, really? I don't need any more of those. Okay, moving on. Moving right along. I don't want to talk about it. Love Disc, Snover, Fletchling, Voltorb. See, this one's much easier. Giacomo. Giacomo. Not Giacomo. Not Giacomo. Giacomo. Italian. Aircross. Delivery drone. Flamigo. Luxray. I can't believe I pulled one of those. I'm just gonna take it out of the booster box hits. I'm just gonna throw it over there. <laughs> I'm so sick of that card. I'm sick of this guy. <sighs> Such a Annoying Pokemon. <laughs> Quaxley. I love Quaxley. He's adorable. Just don't like Quackable. Lapita. Grusha. Come on. I need the full art or the special illustration of that, please. Rookity. Jupiter. Mimikyu. Yeah, Grusha's my favorite gym leader from Scarlet and Violet, so um, very happy he got an illustration rare, obviously. Special illustration rare. Um, that's one of my top chases. I think Mouscarada, Chienpao, and the Grush are my three top chase cards, for sure. Dunsparce, I love that card. Hop it. Galatrol, Azumarill, Vespaquen. By the way, <laughs> oh, hey, Vespaquen. Notice that there's no second E there. And they even had room to put the second E. There's enough space. Uh, but for some reason, they just didn't. I don't know what the reason any is, but, yeah. And <laughs> Okay, so that, when does that happen? 
uncommon, then a reverse of the same uncommon, then a reverse rare, and then a hollow of the same. That's hilarious. All right. <laughs> okay. So that was the that was the right half. Not bad. One full art. Um, two EXs, two illustration rares. So we'll go to the second half. I'm just gonna go right through here. So we got Orthworm with the hollow. Um, not one of my favorite Scarlet Violet Pokemon, for sure. Um, I think most people agree on that. Okay, what do we got? Oh. Oh, that's a something. Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> I saw the... <laughs> I saw the Rotom phone and... <laughs> Oh my god. My guy, cheese, you are a magic man. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Literally right when I saw that, I was like, that's what, that's what it is. So this is the same special illustration rare that I pulled from my ETB yesterday. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? I need to go buy a lottery ticket. Because the chances of me pulling this in my ETV from the Pokemon Center and my booster box from a totally different person from che like from anyone. Alright, well, <laughs> I'm definitely selling one of them. Holy crap. Uh, ooh. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna sleeve it immediately because just I'm gonna sell it because there's no reason for me to keep two of them. Wow, okay, so can we make this a double illustration rare box? I know, uh, Scarlet and Violet, it was either two special illustration rares or one special illustration plus a gold, but in Paldea Evolved, it seems to be mostly. One special illustration, one gold. Oh my god. Uh, wow. I don't even know what to say at this point. Um, oh, that's cool. Reverse Pikachu and Ranchu in the same time. Wow. I have no words. So that's going to be for sale for sure. Because um, I need to buy the cards I'm actually trying to look for. <laughs> So that was the crazy part, is when I pulled it in my ETV, spoilers, whatever, my first reaction was, I didn't want this, I'm going to sell it. Um, but then I was like, oh, maybe I'll just hold on to it. Uh, is this a Chi and Pao? Oh, Cloud Sire. Um, not one of my favorite EXs, but I like it. I like it better than the full art. <laughs> Bad boy. I mean, he's a good boy. I like him more than Quagsire. If that's any consolation. Oh, wow. I am, uh... I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm just like, how is this possible? Alright, what do we got on this one? A dragon. Well, oh, two, two dark type reverses and no dark type hollow. Um, wow. I am definitely speechless. <laughs> I, I didn't expect to pull any of her let alone a second one within two days of the set being out. Oh, we got a textured card here. What? <laughs> what is happening? So I knew this was possible because I saw some people pull two of the same full art, two of the same EX. But, okay... So, Paldea Evolved might be the weirdest set I've ever opened. Um, and it's only been out for not even two full days. Technically, you know, official release date. Alright. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this now. Wow, this is... I... <laughs> Okay, something is amiss 
in the universe. Um, because, first of all, I never pull the best card of the set the day the set comes out. And I pulled two of them. So, and then I got two of the same full art supporter. Ah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm just, uh, Pyro. That's one of the ones I didn't really want. <laughs> oh, Baxcalibur, though. Um, yeah, mixed, very mixed <laughs> feelings. Um, oh, wow, they have, like, a new, like, looks like there's a new coating layer of this for the illustration rooms. Um, this is a very nice card. It's just not one of the ones I really... Actually, there is a spot for this. Um, I wanted the Flichinder, uh, fire type, you know, related, but, um, yeah, there is a spot for that, so that's cool. Um, wow. So I'm just wondering what my gold slash second special illustration was going to be now. Oh, another, I got one of these in my ETB, that's nice. Wow. Um, yee. <laughs> this is insanity. This is just... Wow, I can't believe I, I was, I can't, I, <laughs> all right, I'm just speechless for the rest of this video, I don't know what to say, uh, nothing here, really tough, okay, we got about what, six, no, seven packs left, oh, wow, I'm also apparently really good at pulling special illustration rare trainers, because I pulled two from my Scarlet and Violet box, and then I just go and pull two of the Iono in an ETB in this box. Um, I really just want a special illustration rare Pokemon. Like, I'm not that picky. Well, that's that's ironic, because, yeah, I'm not picky, but... Um, this one, Electro. But, um, I keep not pulling the cards I, like really want i guess <laughs> like if that if those if that iono and the other one i pulled in my etb were both like uh wo chien and a chi yu i would have been happy with that <laughs> like because those are cards i need and a chi and pao okay i already have one but um it's gonna be playable so or it is playable so i will take another one and this is my favorite of the treasures of ruin so sick I just, um, I'm very, uh, flabbergasted is the correct word, I would say. Uh, I'm still waiting for my second, like, big hit. If I even get one, I'm worried that that second Faulkner kind of screwed things up. Um, got three packs left. Oh, yeah, Scrat is last. Okay. Um, you know, obviously I'm hoping for another... Special treasure rare, but chances of that are very low. I just feel like I got a messed up box. <laughs> like, <laughs> not in a bad way, but the hits, like hit wise, um, it's kind of strange. I got what? Four EXs? Yeah, four EXs. Two full arts. I know it's two to three full arts, but I feel like if, if I got two of the same full art, then. Oh my god, am I not going to get, like, a gold? Or is it going to be literally the last pack? Or did I miss it? There's no way I missed it, right? <laughs> Alright, last pack. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I mean, I already made my money back. It's just... I have to go through the hassle of actually selling it. And... Wow. Okay. Um... <laughs> it's like they knew. Wow, I don't know what to say. This is just crazy. Um, definitely one of the weirdest sets I've ever opened, like, overall. The fact I got a Quackle from every product I've opened so far. I pulled two of the Iono Special Illustration Rares. Um, let's do an actual recap here, because I'm, I'm just, like, out of it, I think. And I got two of the same full art. And no second... I've only seen, there. the the chances of you getting only one special illustration rare slash gold is very low. Like, um, that's definitely not average. 
Did I, I opened all the packs, right? <laughs> like, yeah. There's not one hiding back here. No. All right. I'm not complaining. It's just very weird. So we got the Tinka Tough Illustration Rare. We got Meryl, which is one of the ones I wanted the most. So I'm uh, happy about that. We got Pyroar. We got Paladin Cloud Sire, or just Cloud Sire. You know, you don't, the Paladin is just for technicality. Chiyu, which is awesome. Um, Chin Pao. I would have liked a different one, but whatever. He's playable. Uh, Slow King EX Terra, which is nice. I needed this in the Fortress, so do about that. We got <laughs> two Falconer. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, makes absolutely no sense. Uh, wow. And then, of course, the, the Granddaddy. I don't know. Special Illustration Rare. Uh, so this is, she kind of absorbed my other special instruction rare to combine and make it worth more. So, you know, I can't complain. I'm definitely going to sell one of them. Um, because I need to buy cards that I actually, like, need from this set. Yeah, it's a very beautiful card. I, I really, when I pulled it in my ETB, I was just, like, in awe. Um, it was just much, like nicer looking in person than I expected. And I love, my favorite part of it is actually the mouse hold themed ice cream bowl. <laughs> like, or a tandem mouse. It's just adorable. And I mean, I love the Pikachu meal. And there's a little Eevee muffin or cupcake or something. There's like a Sylveon themed one right there. Um, yeah, really nice. I mean, I love the Rotom phone cameo also and she uses the magnet case. Um, but yeah, that was, um, insane. That was definitely one of the weirdest boxes I've ever opened. Um, and Pedley Evolve is definitely one of the weirdest sets I've ever opened. Like, just overall, um, you know, pull-wise. So, that was that. Um, uh, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so out of it right now. Um, follow me on Instagram at the Avalon Legacy, of course. And, um, wow, I just, like, want to, I want to talk more about this set, but <laughs> got a weird sampling of it. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> crazy. Uh, yeah, one of them, this will definitely be the first sale. Um, I need to, I'm just going to put it on eBay, probably. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.